I'm here with John, who's with Four Earth Technologies. We're going to talk a little bit about what they do, and we're, we're both here at the Water Tower Demo Day. So, so John, why don't you talk about a little bit about your background sure. before we get into Four Earth? Sure. Yeah. So I'm an engineer uh, by training. I actually graduated from Georgia Tech. I've been working in the water treatment space for quite a bit of time, seven plus years. Um, I'm actually the founder and CEO of Four Earth. Uh, basically saw some room in this industry for improvement in terms of making technology more accessible, making it smarter, making it more modular, and basically bringing faster solutions to people that need it most. Uh, this could be for industrial waste, wastewater, uh, fresh water, as well as brackish water treatment. So that, you know, it covers quite a bit. So if you were just to say about four earth and we're in the elevator going up a couple of floors, what are you going to say to me about four earth to get my interest? So basically our vision is to create uh, the next generation of smart and modular water treatment technologies. Hmm, that's interesting. So smart and modular water technologies. I don't think we've heard that before. Why don't you talk a little bit about that and what you see for that? Yeah, so when we say smart, so basically our, the core of our process is membrane technology. Uh, we feel like membranes have a really good treatment efficiency and, are, and is very robust. Mm -hmm. Uh, we take membranes, we integrate it into a nice process, and then we build the technology behind it that basically makes the system very easy to operate, uh, has data uh, acquisition as, as well as visualization, and then the system becomes smart. So over time, the system should be able to learn what's coming in, what needs to go out, and how do I optimize myself, basically enhancing the operator. So one thing we, don't, we like to emphasize we don't want to replace the operator, but we want to enhance the operator, give them more information so they, they can make better real-time decisions for energy use, cost, uh, and make life more fun. Oh, so this is for, what, who's your cust who do you have as your customer? So our customers is kind of like a wider array. So one is industrial factories mm -hmm. that generate waste. They either want to discharge it and meet their permits or they want to reuse it. Uh, number two is municipal water treatment plants. We can come in and solve specific problems such as treating their backwash water mm -hmm. or increasing their capacity. And number three is more like small communities, smart, city, smart cities, new developments. Mm -hmm. uh, because we, we build our technology in a containerized setup, so everything is built in a controlled factory setting. We can ship it off to a project site and just plug it in place. So it creates a more decentralized feel. Very, very interesting. So we're here at the, at the Water Towers Demo Day. Really, their, their ribbon cutting was a few weeks ago. This is really the grand opening. What's your expectation? First of all, talk a little bit about the Water Tower itself and yeah. what you're seeing, and then let's talk about your expectations for First, tomorrow. If you haven't been to the Water Tower, it's amazing. We, we actually came out here a few months ago, uh, I think December, November, and it was like there was no walls, nothing, and just in a few months, they've created a very beautiful facility, uh, state-of-the-art. Nice offices, nice place for the water industry to kind of come together. They're hosting a demo day, so they're going to have physical systems outside plugged mm -hmm. in, which was our plan originally. But because of supply chain issues, mm -hmm. we had to create a more digital uh, AR slash VR setup. Mm -hmm. So I can kind of walk you through. Right here we have um, a 3D model of one of our systems that will actually come here to the water tower. Um, we're going to have this on display on a loop. And then I'll let G explain uh, more of our design as well as uh, uh, HMI sort of experience. So if you want to come in here and yeah. check it out. Go ahead, G. Take Perfect. it away. Yeah, so I'm G. I'm the creative director of Fort Earth. Uh, my job at Fort Earth is kind of, if you, if you haven't noticed, the water industry can be at certain times Jurassic when it comes to digitalization <laughs> and also aesthetics. So we at Fort Earth, we try to not only make sure that we're aesthetically pleasing as far as design goes in the container, we also feature artists, like local artists. If, if we're in the city of Atlanta, we're gonna feature an Atlanta artist. If we're in Beirut, Lebanon, which I go back and forth from Beirut, Lebanon, because we're trying to get a project there for some uh, refugee camps, um, I'll feature a, a Lebanese artist. So again, design here when it comes to the HMI, if you could, if you could zoom in and just take a look. Um, we want the operator of our systems to feel like they're Bruce Wayne or Batman or James Bond. So this is kind of the home screen. So when you click on it, oh, sorry. You get a full view of the system, the membranes, uh, the feed tanks, the pumps. Um, you get to go into controls. 
if you want to go into a manual mode or auto mode you can do that i don't want to give too much away of the system it's like a trailer um but yeah that's kind of like how we're how we're headed if you look at some of the hmis and the screens that not only the water industry but a lot of other industry use the graphics are very clunky they're ugly they're not intuitive um, we want to just completely turn that upside down on its head and change the game okay well you talked a little bit before uh, John, I think you talked a little bit about what you're going to be doing tomorrow at Demo Day, and you're going to you reference virtual reality. Yeah. Talk about that. Let's see if you come over here. We wow. actually have both augmented reality and virtual reality. So we have an Oculus headset. Basically, we inputted our 3D model into this headset. So I'm not going to actually do it, but I'll just wear it and show you real quick. You just come in here, you pop this in, and then you grab these, and then basically, this thing will give you, I can't even see you right now. Uh, this thing will give you an option to project the model. So it's, uh, and we'll instead have of, a screen to yes, cast it on. So exactly, so it. basically you step in and I'm actually looking at our system right now. Mm. I'm looking at the membranes, I'm looking at the HMI, I'm looking at the entire process as if I'm inside the container. So since, uh, because of supply chain issues, we couldn't get the actual system here in time because we do manufacture them ourselves. Uh, we decided we can bring a more virtual experience and uh, you know it doesn't cost that much to carry around an Oculus headset right and then on the iPad we're actually gonna have a AR setup so basically you I won't show it but basically you grab the iPad and then we'll have the AR sort of application mm -hmm. and you just project it onto the ground and then it'll be like this room has a container inside and you can walk around look at all the components uh, and see like reference to your height how big are you know, the membranes, the control panel, et cetera, et cetera. So that's sort of like one of our goals, to like, and I think the, the water tower has this goal too. They want to communicate the value of water. Mm -hmm. So we want to bring more unique ways in which people can see, like the water treatment industry is pretty cool and it's important, you know? And the, old, the main way people like to listen is if you make it cool, so. And you know, that's very, very important. Obviously with the demo here and the artist showing the artistic value and being uh, creative enough when you have a little bit of a stumble and you can't get some product here virtual reality very very creative this is going to be a this is going to be a great day tomorrow and it's going to be a, it's a great time um, we're really looking forward to this and certainly looking forward to global water if global water works we connect people process and technology to solve the global water crisis in this generation and certainly for Earth is going to be a big part of that. Thank, Thank you so much, so much for spending time with us. So Appreciate that. Thank you.